Good morning, Coyote Ridge. Hi, I'm Americus. And hi, I'm Dominic. And, and we, we are, are your Coyote, Coyote News, News team. team. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Today is Friday the 13th, 2019. So happy Friday the 13th. And this is your news for today. Fans, students, if you haven't already, please purchase your Essential Elements 2000 book. You may purchase it in all local music stores, Amazon, or from glendaleband.org. All right. We are looking for students who are interested in saving energy. So. Two teachers, Ms. Fox and Ms. Dong, are looking for a green team to save energy. Coyote Ridge would like to extend a big thank you to the Westside Church of God. Brian, Gina, Audrey, Stephanie, Cherry, Rita, David, and Justin worked in several classrooms, placing reading level stickers on books. Thanks, guys. Coyote Ridge appreciates the support. Your STEAM fact of the day. Did you not? I'm pretty sure you did not know this, but did you not know that water can actually boil and freeze at the same time coyote cards teachers please hand out coyote cards so we can recognize students like emma in kindergarten who was given this for being respectful brack brady in first grade was given this for being responsible um jaime in second grade was given this for showing coyote pride alexis in third grade was given this for showing coyote pride Scarlett in fourth grade was given this for being responsible. Soraya in fifth grade was be given this for being respectful, responsible, and safe. Diana in sixth grade was given this for being responsible. And Alex in seventh grade, Alex Knight in seventh grade was given this for being respectful. For today's Coyote Howler of the Week, Alex got a chance to interact with an elective team with their engineering bridge challenge. Alex? Thanks guys. I'm here with the engineering team to ask them a couple of questions about the engineering process. Guys, can I ask you a couple questions please? Uh, yes. I understand you're learning just how challenging the engineering process is, but despite this you're having success with the imagine and plan stages. Tell me about that. Yes, we are having success with the imagine and plan stages but our challenge is to build a bridge near the San Andreas fault line it, and it also has to be a working prototype with a budget of one million dollars. Good answer. Also don't take my mic. Um, before I ask the next question, um, what's this plan for? This plan is for our design for our engineering challenge. Right here is um, the truss bridge we're going to be using as our working prototype. And as you see on the chair over the, on the table, you see that we've already built some of it. And now, um, and now you can see that it shows a resemblance of our our blueprint. So later on, we're going to try to replicate that. Thanks for taking the time off for your work. I'll let you guys get back to work now. <laughs> back to you guys at the studio. And remember, we're a Coyote Pride school, so we are always, say it with us, respectful, responsible, and safe. But most of all, Coyote Pride is hard to hide. We'll see you, see you next week. time. Bye. Bye.